Hello again, it's Katie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in the past, I've uploaded a few videos about my college applications, my decisions, reactions, my app, my stats, and um, where I've decided to go. And so today, I'm going to be going over the first um, installment of me reading my, ass my application essays, which um, today's is my common application essay. So, um, without really going into too much right now. Um, so the prompt that I chose was, some students have a background, identity, interest, or talent that is so meaningful they believe their application would be incomplete without it. If this sounds like you, then please share your story. Um, so that was just the prompt that appealed the most to me. And for common application, the personal statement, the word limit is between 250 words to 650 words. And mine was 633 words. Okay. So I'll just read it now and then explain it later. The fast, sharp turns made our ride feel like a roller coaster that should have been banned in amusement parks. To curb my car sickness, I turned to look out the window, seeking to quell the rising heat in my stomach. I was in Thailand, where I had just finished conducting blood pressure, blood glucose, and vitals tests at a temple. Suddenly, we screeched to a stop as a large crowd of locals gathered in front of our bus. I didn't have to understand the language to know that something was wrong. People were speaking fast in high-pitched voices, their faces panicked. We soon learned that a store owner drowned after fainting into a filled bathtub. A customer found him and tried reviving him, but the ambulance was still 20 minutes away. The closest hospital was nowhere near. The purpose of our trip was to learn about rural community health and develop better public services, but in this critical moment, there was nothing any of us could do. I felt helpless. My Thailand experience made me realize that although I traveled with good intentions, I simply did not have the knowledge or resources to help. I wanted to improve the living conditions and healthcare access for those people, but in order to make a difference, one must be able to actively participate. To participate, one must first understand the cultural nuances, traditions, and ethics in a society. I began questioning how cultures drive behavior and build societies. My love of community drove me to discover methods of cross-cultural communication that could achieve improvement while respecting the various cultures involved. When I returned home from Thailand, I decided to further my understanding of healthcare systems by working with a female radiologist who I met through a shadowing program. Through our conversations, I learned that the field of radiology is very attractive to female physicians because of the flexibility in work schedules, patient contact level, and intellectual stimulation. As a result, women physicians dominate the radiology field in many countries. In America, however, only 20% of radiologists are women. This raised questions for me. Why such low interest? Does the specialty's culture deter women? Is there a stigma associated with females in radiology? Hoping to discover the source of this gender disparity in radiology, I surveyed female radiologists across the country. I found that previous studies tended to focus on academic factors, ignoring the social effects of American culture on choice. Rather than asking medical students why they didn't go into radiology, I surveyed females who chose radiology. Their perspective could help female medical students selecting specialties. My research taught me communication skills that forced me to leave my comfort zone. Initially, I was not sure if a high schooler's requests would be taken seriously. However, as the survey replies increased, so did my confidence. My new ability to independently reach out and analyze connected to my curiosity about how society culture, and circumstances affect a person's life decisions. When I concluded my research, I found that science and culture are interdependent, not independent. 
Surprisingly, even as recently as 10 years ago, highly educated women in science fields still had self-doubts about working in high-tech fields like radiology. Regional cultural attitudes about gender roles also impact their choices, as do wages, years in training, and the geography of the job market. My experience and research taught me that the seemingly disconnected aspects of culture are actually interdependent. Discovering these connections makes me want to find out more about differing cultures, particularly as they relate to healthcare and social wellness systems. My intent is to combine my knowledge and experience with problem solving and leverage those abilities for the betterment of people's lives around the world. This way, I will never again be stuck watching, but unable to assist, helpless when help is most needed. All right, so that's my common app essay. <laughs> um, when I was deciding what to write for this one, I tried to look back through my activities list and see if I could connect the um, most important uh, activities that I thought were most important to me um, to my essay as well to really exaggerate those points um, as well as connect it to what I said that I wanted to do at each college. Um, that's why I chose to emphasize my um, my, re my independent research with the radiology survey. And I feel like that's something really important um, in your personal essay that you really combine it to something that you did in your activities list. Make it seem like it's all in interconnected um, and that it's not just like your essay and then you also did these things. It's about how like your activities really shaped you as a person as well. For the additional information section of my common app essay, I feel like not very many people really talk about it. They really just go over the essay, but a lot of people talk about um, why they didn't do so well in a class or their personal circumstances or things like that, which I think are very important if that applies to you and you think that it is something important in your essay that you have to speak out about to explain something that happened or to give further detail on something then that is definitely something you should do. But if you feel like there's nothing specific about um, like a personal circumstance or a class that you really have to explain more than another one, then you could also expand on your activities list. So for example, for me, I felt like the activities list, there's 10 activities that you can write about and there are small, like very little words that you can write about explaining each of your activities. So I wanted to explain more in my activities because a lot of my activities that I wrote about were not very common activities and I felt like I hadn't really completely explained them in the activities list. So I just expanded on it in the additional information section. So there you have it, that's my common application as well as just slight tips and tricks, but mostly just my essay. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending your precious time watching this video. I hope it's helpful and gives inspiration or just a few ideas, helps you brainstorm. Um, in the next few weeks, I'm planning on uploading a few videos, reading my other essays um, that got me into co certain colleges, um, specific to different colleges. So this is just part one. Um, please help me out and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every time I upload a new video. I hope to see you next time!